This is a simple example of how to conduct a 5y. Uh, what I'm showing is a 1y. It points out that the Titanic sank because the ship hit an iceberg. That's a simple cause and effect relationship. You can expand on this and say the Titanic sank specifically because water filled the hole. And water filled the hole because there were openings in the hole. And there are openings in the hole because the ship hit the iceberg. These are three 1Ys that combine to create a 3Y. This information in the middle of this part of the analysis fits right in here. So the 1Y is accurate and the 3Y is accurate. You can add more detail and expand this to a 5Y. On this 5Y, it points out that the ship hit the iceberg because it didn't turn sufficiently because the lookout saw the iceberg late. And you can see how easy it is for someone to identify that the lookouts are what caused the Titanic to sink. This 5Y is absolutely accurate. The lookouts seeing the iceberg late is causally related to the Titanic sinking. But someone else on the same issue could say, no, the, the problem is the ship didn't turn sufficiently because it was going too fast. Management had the ship going at 18 knots. It's too fast, it couldn't turn sufficiently. So it's really a management systems issue. And someone else says, no, what happened is the plates pulled apart because of the strength of the joints, because of the rivets. These were grade four wrought iron rivets. And if you would have just changed the design of those rivets, you never would have had the Titanic sink because the plates wouldn't have pulled apart. So there are three different five Ys laid out here. Each one of these five Ys is accurate. It's not an issue of who's right and which two people are wrong. All of this information is accurate. The key is that even though people see the problem differently, they have different points of view, it doesn't change the incident. The Titanic incident happened a particular way. You can combine these cause and effect relationships together and you find out that the ship didn't turn sufficiently because the lookout saw the iceberg late and the speed of the ship. The reason why this is important is because even if the lookouts see the iceberg late, if the ship is traveling at a different speed, it changes the ability for the ship to turn. Even if the speed is, is 18 knots, if the lookouts see the iceberg earlier, it changes the ability for the ship to avoid the iceberg. So both causes are required to produce that particular effect. You can even add in the design and find out that you could hit the iceberg, but if the plates were stronger, if the rivets were stronger, and never pulled apart, then you wouldn't have water fill the hole. So the question is, well, which one of these caused the Titanic to sink? And you can see how easy it is for someone to point out, well, the lookouts made the air, and someone else says, no, it was management, had the ship going too fast, and someone says, no, it's a design issue. So these are the three classic uh, operator error management or design laid out on one issue. This is one more thorough analysis than a single 5Y can provide, but those original 5Ys are definitely accurate. You would tie this issue, and when we lay out a cause map, you would tie this issue to the goals. So ultimately, the safety goal was affected because 1,500 people died, and you obviously lost the ship, and we'd add the property goal in there too. That's why this breaks out into, in this case, a 15Y. Now, it's made up of different points of view because people see different 5Ys within an incident, the actual Titanic incident, you can expand uh, much further. This lays out to a 125Y, but as you can see, it starts with just a 4Y here at the beginning. So this simple 4Y can expand into 115Ys. This analysis is accurate, and this analysis is accurate. They're just at different levels of detail. So it's important when you begin an investigation to keep it simple. That's why something as basic as a 1Y to a 2Y and building out to a 5Y is such a great starting point because people can add more detail to expand that analysis. If you'd like to learn more about our cause mapping approach to investigating and preventing incidents, visit our website or attend one of our free webinars. Thanks very much.